I, I think Richard would have been in, in favour of um, uh, ordinary people having, uh, having a say. I mean, in his Parliament of 1484, he did some good statutes to sort of um, help the ordinary people um, improve law, um, encourage the use of English in law courts. He took his coronation oath in English. So I think he was on the side of the ordinary people to a large extent. Um, but of course Europe's so different now to what it was like in his day um, because countries like Germany and Italy, Belgium, I mean, you know, the map was completely different. The medieval kings of England and kings of France were always fighting one another um, and um, Richard would, would, would have been no different. Um, and of course his sister was married to the uh, Duke of Burgundy, uh, so Margaret of York was the Duchess of Burgundy in the 1470s um, and, and so the European connections were there for, for Richard in terms of family. And of course we were still claiming sovereignty over France at that time as evidenced by the arms of England, the fleur de lis, which you'll see by Richard's tomb. Um, so as far as Richard was concerned, um, we owned France anyway, didn't we? <laughs> so no problem, but he's a, that's ever closer union, I exactly. suppose. On the other hand, I mean, again in his Parliament of 1484, there were some uh, laws made to try and help um, English merchants, and I suppose you'd sort of say try and protect them a bit from overseas competition. Oh. So I suppose uh, Brexit folk would sort of seize on that as a, oh, there you go, Richard would have been for Brexit. Wars of the Roses was basically the House of York, House of Lancaster. It was factions within the same yeah. family, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, so he was very related. used to, to factions um, and infighting within the, the same family. So I don't think the, the kind of factions within a political party would have hugely surprised him. There are different ways of resolving things then? The yes, as Richard said, let's hope it doesn't come to, to physical violence, but uh, yes, ultimately the execution as axe was there for, for anyone that committed treason. So Boris Johnson and Preeti Patel and Michael Gove should uh, watch out perhaps. <laughs> Who knows? Could possibly comment on that. <laughs> <laughs>